As someone who used to live paycheck to paycheck, there were many things in my life I needed to stop buying in order to reduce my budget so I can start saving money. In this video, I will share with you 11 things I no longer buy. Watch this video to the end if you want to start growing your savings and improve your financial health. Number one, haircuts. I used to spend almost $15 every two weeks to keep a fresh fade on top of this head. That's $360 a year. But then I bought hair clippers for around $100 and now I don't spend a cent on haircuts to this day. I haven't had a haircut in over 15 years so I don't really know the current prices but my buddy told me the other day after the tip his haircut cost $50. Imagine having to pay this twice a month. I'm fainting. I'm, I'm going to faint. Number two, bank fees. Everyone needs a bank account. But what if I told you there were fees associated that were not necessary? Monthly fees, $17 a month. ATM fees, $5 per use. Overdraft fees, $5 a month. And other possible fees like NSF and e-transfers. All these fees can be avoided. Let's start with the monthly fee. Yes, some banks will waive the monthly fee if you carry a certain balance. But if you can't maintain that balance, check out no fee checking accounts like Tangerine and Simply. With these online only banks, there is no monthly fee. But what about ATM fees? The only way to avoid these fees is to withdraw only at your bank. You can avoid this by having a small reserve of cash on you at all times and only withdraw when it's free. As for overdraft and NSF fees, keep a reserve of cash in your checking account to avoid these fees. Just starting out, maybe you can keep your $1,000 emergency fund here. Just avoid the temptation to spend on non-emergency expenses. Number three, credit cards. My first credit card, my bank just randomly offered me one day and I said, yeah. It had an annual fee and at the time, I didn't realize you can get one without an annual fee. Well, you can and there's many good ones to choose from. My favorites include the Rogers World Elite, the Triangle World Elite, the Simply Visa and the Tangerine World MasterCard. Although annual fee credit cards come with better rewards, you need to do a lot more spending before you make the annual fee worth it. What I do to get over $1,000 cash back annually is combine multiple cash back credit cards to get the the highest reward rate in each category. You should also consider that these credit cards come with high interest rates. If you don't pay your balance in full within 21 days, you will be charged interest, probably around 20%, which means the interest you pay will generally outweigh the rewards you get. Number four, expensive clothes, shoes, and jewelry. A shirt for $50, a hoodie for 100, jeans for 100, shoes for 180, $40 hats, and thousands of dollars of gold, silver, and watches. These are by no means luxury brand prices but they are name brand prices the problem is buying this in excess I used to buy new clothes shoes and hats every month I didn't need more clothes I just wanted something new nowadays if I need clothes I buy no name plain clothing like plain white shirts or sweatsuits and I wear the same two pairs of jeans I got from blue notes like eight years ago and if I do get name brand clothing, it's usually a gift for Christmas or my birthday. I used to spend $100 to $200 a month on clothing, and now my budget for clothing is next to nothing. Number five, home phone and cable TV. Currently in my area, I only have one service provider. Eastlink. The cheapest internet, TV, and phone plan is regular $170 a month. Plus tax, this is close to $200 a month. But why would you pay for TV channels when you have free ones like the Roku channel, Tubi, Pluto TV, and YouTube? And who needs a home phone when everyone has a mobile phone? I pay $100 for internet, $7 for Netflix, and $12.50 for YouTube Premium. This saves me $80.50 a month. Number six, expensive phone plans. Phone plans from the big providers, Rogers and Bell, can cost over $100, especially if you want a new iPhone with that plan. For what, the same phone, just newer, and a bunch of data you'll never use? This is where Chatter, Lucky, and Public Mobile come in. With these companies, you only pay for what you need. With plans starting at $15 and the most expensive plans are only costing $50 with 100 gigabytes of data. My favorite of the three is Public Mobile. I've been with them for five years now and I haven't looked back. I haven't had any issues with them and I saved myself a lot of coin. My current plan is $34 a month with 50 gigabytes of data. And my current phone is the iPhone 13 mini, which I bought last year with cash. Now let me tell 
you the best part of public mobile. I haven't paid a phone bill in over four years. Let me repeat, I pay nothing for my phone plan. How you may ask? With their reward system. With public mobile, you can earn points, which can lower your bill. And with enough points, you can lower your monthly bill to free. If you're interested in public mobile, use my code in the video description below and get a $10 credit towards your bill. Number seven, getting takeout food for lunch. I used to get a coffee and breakfast sandwich every morning and then for lunch, another fast food joint. I was definitely spending at least $20 a day on fast food, plus maybe again for supper. I estimate I would spend around $500 a month on takeout. Nowadays, I make my coffee at home, eat something like oatmeal, banana, yogurt, and would have some leftovers for lunch. And now I only get takeout once or twice a week. Although the prices of groceries are soaring through the roof, so are the prices of takeout food. Making food at home will always be cheaper, three to five times cheaper. If you get takeout all the time, you can save yourself a significant amount of money by cooking and preparing food at home. Number eight, beverages. How much fluids do you drink a day? Start off with a coffee in the morning, a bottle of water to hold you off till break time, then a Pepsi, then a Red Bull at lunchtime, a Gatorade till supper time, a glass of milk, another bottle of water, and at the end of the day, a couple of beer. This person is spending close to $10 a day on drinks. That's $300 a month. And if you like the wobbly pops, you could be spending a lot more on drinks. <laughs> I went through a time in my life where I was buying all kinds of expensive alcohol drinks just to try and flex and try something new. But if you really want to save money and stay healthy, stick to carbonated water and tap water and add some water enhancers to spice things up. Number nine, convenience store purchases. Going to the gas station or convenience store is a dangerous game to play. Smokes, beer, lottery tickets, junk food, snacks, refreshments, and just random things to spend your money on. You might be there to grab a bag of ice or get some gas. Next thing you know, you spend a lot more money than you intended. A couple of those panty shields and some illegal fireworks and one of those disposable enemas. These impulsive purchases can cost you a lot more than they need to. One, because if you didn't go there, you wouldn't have made the purchase in the first place. And two, there's a market price or convenience fee. Most things you buy at a convenience store or gas station will cost much more than buying at a grocery store or the dollar store. To avoid these purchases, you can either pay at the pump so you don't need to go inside or plan ahead and purchase elsewhere at a cheaper price. Number 10, new tech. iPhones, iPads, AirPods, Apple Watches, laptops, PCs, 8K TVs, smart fridges, smart glasses, Meta Request VR, PS5, Xbox X, drones, and more. The sad part is if you buy new tech, it will be outdated the following year. Now I didn't buy the newest tech gadgets, but I did buy something at some point. But now all I use is my iPhone 13 mini, a Bluetooth speaker, which is five years old, my headphones, which are $30 on Amazon, my smartwatch, which was a Father's Day gift, and my computer, which I use for making YouTube videos. Also, my TV is probably around eight years old. I sold my PS4 five years ago. I don't use my laptop anymore and I don't own many other tech. You'll go broke always trying to have the latest and greatest tech. So find the tech that works for you and don't replace it just because something newer is out. Number 11, wants in general. Your expenses can be broken down into two categories, your wants and your needs. Your needs will be the expenses that you need to cover first before you spend on your wants. This will include your housing, food, transportation, utilities, insurance, clothing, internet, and phone plans. Wants are expenses that aren't necessary for daily life. This will include eating out, latest tech, entertainment, Netflix, vacations, hobbies, toys, etc. And just because expenses are in the need section doesn't mean you can't overspend it. Yes, you may need transportation for work, but do you really need $100,000? truck and also you may need clothing but do you need name brand clothing on a weekly basis before i started taking control of my finances i was spending a lot of money on wants i had a gmc yukon and bought 22 inch chrome rims when the rims and tires on it were just fine i bought a stereo system with amps and subwoofers when the stereo was just fine i bought all kinds of nike and jordan clothing and shoes and always had a hat to match and spent whatever i had left over going to restaurant bars clubs and shots many shots Everybody! 
But now I have prioritized my needs and learned to delay gratification for bigger rewards. Doing this allowed me to save for a house, build a garage, buy a newer truck, have a child, have pets, get engaged, and save up to start a business. By no longer spending on these 11 expenses, I save over $1,500 a month, actually even more because I used to live paycheck to paycheck. I know you can't always spend your money on needs, but don't sacrifice your financial goals by spending on too many wants. And if you knew how to save money better, you could have more money for your wants. You can do that by watching one of the videos on the right of the screen.